Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to another daily dice where we ask a dice for a message and find out what that is. I do want to say thank you to anyone and everyone that continues to be a supportive part of this journey, this channel, this ever-growing tribe. I'm truly honored to be sharing this time and this space with you. And for those of you that are new here, welcome. This is that reminder that we're all here sharing this human experience and that this is a safe space to show up as your highest, most aligned, loving, authentic self. Should this happen to resonate with you, it would mean so much to me if you were to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and hop to it. And today we're just going to ask Source what message Source has for us. So Source, what message do you have for my fellow humans today? What would you like them to know? Source, what message do you have for my fellow humans? What would you like them to know today, Source? All right, so we've got the sixth house, Mercury energy, and Aries. So sixth house is Virgo. Virgo is ruled by Mercury. So that is a synchronicity already. This is about your work routines, your health routines, your life routines. This could have to do with co-workers as well as your pets and animals at home what we see here is being creative and courageous in the way that you show up it's interesting because it feels like training it's just like some sort of training so it could be training an animal it could be training yourself like weight training or just training doing a new practice in health this could be training at work but that's what they're showing me right now is it feels like training Okay, and with the Aries energy here, they're saying to be courageous in the way that you show up for training, right? Like, let it become a passion of yours to really learn, lean in and learn with the Mercury here. Like, absorb all the information that you can, really embody that and ask questions and get the guidance that you need from the people who know what's going on and allow yourself to really, really lean into that energy, I, when we have Mercury, we do deal with <clears throat> uh, school, like childhood friends, school friends, students. So it does feel like there's something here about getting sensory type of information, learning something, writing something, gaining some sense of intelligence. Somebody's communicating something to you, uh, changing your thought processes here. Uh, learning new reason you could even be learning a new language whatever it is you're learning something or you're teaching something and what they're saying here is just to be bold and be brave okay so it's saying i know it's scary i know it's scary to learn something new i know it's scary to teach people something new i know it's scary to try something new however in doing this you're bringing a sense of balance into your life it will help you really heal a part of your throat chakra here and begin to lean into the fire of the soul and through that that's going to make you feel really grounded and that's going to make you feel really peaceful and sincere so don't be afraid to let this come out whatever it is right don't be afraid to ask questions about whatever this is really truly allow yourself to open up to this experience so whether that's at work in your personal life with pets or at school whatever the situation may be here it does feel like some sort of new training situation that's on hand you're learning something new or teaching something and they just want you to be bold and i feel like you're actually going to find some sense of passion with this as well whatever it is that it involves you're going to find that you actually really enjoy it when you lean into it 100% and give it your all, you're going to find that you really enjoy this. So let's see what else comes out for you here. Uh, Source, what else would you like to say in regards to this reading? Source, what else would you like to say in regards to this reading, please? Okay, thank you. What else would you like to say in regards to this reading? Yeah, there's definitely going to be success here. It may feel like you're flying solo for a little while, but they're saying that you're not, you know, you, in order to learn, sometimes we have to do things alone, but we can always go back to our resources. What else would you like to say here, Source? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this came out in the other daily dice that I did. So Source is showing the truth here. This is the truth with the reading. It's coming through like 
They want you to know that you have all the resources to do what you need. You're going to be given the clarity in order to absorb the information that you need or to pass on the information that you need to pass on, whichever the situation is. They're showing here that you're going to be given the truth and the clarity and the understanding and understanding that you need in order to move forward. This is a big boss up move for you, okay, with the king of coins on the bottom. This is definitely something that could involve going to the next level with your work. Whatever it is, they're saying do not hide yourself from this. Do not be shy here. Just be who you are. Show up and do what you do and you're going to see results. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands here, and the Ten of Wands in the Tarot Marseille really does talk about having someone that you go through thick or thin with. And so this could be a teacher, a trainer. This could be you being there for a student. This could be you there being there for a pet. And look, look at I cannot make this up. So this could be in regards to a pet because like she's like walking this little beetle here. Okay. So whatever it is, I feel like you've just been frustrated. It's been a really difficult situation, especially if you've gotten like a new puppy or kitten or something. It's just like getting that, that over that initial newness feeling, right? And this is a very specific message, but that's what it makes me feel like with this card. And they're just saying to keep pouring into it, keep showing up, keep having patience with the situation. You know, there's no need to get upset here. There's no need to get angry here because once you build that rapport with whoever or whomever this is, you will have someone there that's always going to be there with you. So you could be a teacher and this could be a student or you could be the student and this could be a teacher. They're always going to be someone that comes back and you can bounce ideas off of each other and really pour into one another. So this is like a new part of life. This feels like a brand new chapter. We have the nine of coins on the bottom. This is something that's very, very financially... Uh, it's it's financially sound okay <laughs> and it's also something that's going to build a very loving connection here okay and i'm not talking about romance here i'm just saying it's just a very very sturdy connection as well okay this is letting go of the illusion that you're unable or incapable of doing this rather you're pouring into this and understanding that you've been given everything that you need in order to succeed and you will succeed through patience and effort okay Okay, on the bottom, we have opposition, imbalance, a point of tension, and a power struggle. And I feel like this is what you've been going through is this opposition type energy where there's been an imbalance and struggling with self, right? That's oftentimes what we're dealing with is struggling with ourselves. And they're saying you're going to get through that. Yeah, Pisces, like intima intimacy, intuition, and compassion. Whatever happens, you're going to come out of this with this connection. And it's going to be a very, very beautiful connection, like a friends for life. Not really feeling love here, like romantic love. It could be that for someone. If it is, that's going to be like for a very small, finite amount of you. But this really does feel like a friendship, a bond for life. This is something that's going to last for a lifetime. We have Earth Energy with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with persistence, patience, and practicality. It's going to take you showing up consistently and things are going to change. You're going to see a noticeable difference. So if you're teaching students and they're struggling, you're going to start seeing them succeed, right? If you're a student and someone's teaching you, you're going to start seeing yourself succeed, right? We have pheasant with adopt to play, adapt to place and circumstance to discover happiness and contentment. Remember, you have everything you need to be successful. That's exactly what this energy feels like here. You can adapt to what's going on around you. We have ostrich on the bottom. With magic remains, even while you ground yourself and be practical, right? Be practical. Don't try to put some unpractical expectations on yourself, for your class, for your student, whatever it is. Okay, whatever position you're in, don't be unpractical here. Don't don't be like, oh my gosh, like we have to we have to get this done and over with if you're training a dog or something like that. Like they have to be trained and perfect in a month. Be practical. You know what? I'm going to take this whole year and I'm going to show up consistently and we're going to reassess at the end of the year, right? Like something like that is more practical than trying to put some unreasonable expectation on you and on someone else. Yeah, okay, so we have cycles flipping over and another card flying out. 
So in the past, you may have put a lot of unrealistic expectations. I feel like this is on self. And Source is saying this is you letting go of a cycle, right? And it could be in regards to the same situation. Maybe you've had unrealistic expectations on and there's been a lot of frustration. They're saying we're trying to help you find foundation in the unstable part of life. You're the stability, not life. You bring the stability, right? And that's what they're trying to show here with the cycles card. And the, <laughs> yes, and then we have the 14 card here showing equality with seahorse, right? We're on the same playing field together. So even if you're a trainer or even if you're a teacher here, you're on the same level as your students, as the people that you're training for work, whatever it is. Treat them like you're, they're your equal and watch as you all flourish watch as you all succeed right that's how it happens like when when you look at when you look at people as though you're better than people it's funny how that whole system begins to fall apart and you have people who rebel against the system but when you look at everybody as we're all in this together and we can help each other it's amazing how everybody in turn begins to band together to ensure that that's a reality 11 11 on the clock we have number one on the bottom with peace and gorilla. This is how you bring peace to the situation, okay? So there's been something that you may have been struggling with recently. We have wisdom and owl on the bottom. You're bringing a new sense of wisdom to it here, showing that there's no reason for you to get, you know, out of hand here, but to be brave and to be bold and to step into this leadership position to do this from a place of, I'm always a student, when you come with this mindset that I too am always a student, no matter the position that you're holding right now, you will open up to the experiences of others. You'll be able to put yourself in their shoes freely. And in turn, you'll bring in this peace to whatever's going on. You'll put down this mask. You'll put down this this fight, you know, the, the spear, the weapons, the shield, you're no longer going to feel like you have to fight against this and you're going to be in a free flow state with one another, okay? So this is what I see for you here. If you feel like this is your reading, leave a little bunny emoji down below and say, I'm the stability in an unstable world and that brings peace. And if it resonated with you, it means so much to me if you were to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Should this happen, or if you're interested in supporting the channel further, you'll find all the links necessary to do so below in the description box. You can email me for personal reading. You can follow me on over to my podcast on Spotify at Scatter Love Radio. You can even join as a member, and I would love to see you on memberships. If not, thank you for your continued support here. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here and get on out of here, but I do want to take a quick second to thank your guide, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my spirit guides for coming together to give us this beautiful message. And until next time, stay human. Bye.